He is running for mayor of a local suburb, but before the first ballot can be cast in his run for the top spot, he must explain why police say he ran from them. Action News investigator Bill Proctor has this exclusive story on an elected official who could go to jail. Kingster City Councilman Courtney Owens has been charged with fleeing and eluding police and resisting arrest. But that's not all we've recovered about this local leader who has had his driver's license suspended six times. That's Inkster police dash cam video from 2009. The officer is driving in the opposite direction of this motorcycle. The driver is Inkster Councilman Courtney Owens. The officer had to turn around and go 90 miles an hour to catch him. I don't care. The exchange between the cop and Owens shows the councilman knew that officer, admitted he was wrong, and was driving without a license. I felt it, man. My man just came up and let me jump on the bike. I'm sorry. I don't have it on me, man. I don't have it on me. Instead of getting a citation for going more than twice the speed limit, Owens got a careless driving ticket. At this point in the video, you can't see him or the officer, but you can hear the cop tell Owens that the deputy police chief ordered him to write the reduced ticket. Direct order for the deputy chief. I'm going to write you a careless driving ticket and take the bike. Oh, come on. I'm not, hey, I'm letting you know. The deputy police chief is no longer with the Inkster Police Department and couldn't be reached, but a check of Owens' driving history shows that since 2004, his license has been suspended six times. And now he's been charged with two felonies tied to his latest driving incident, running from state police in May at high speeds and resisting arrest. Courtney Owens hasn't been willing to talk about his driving issues, but he is talking about his record as a councilman while on the campaign trail as he tries to become Inkster's next mayor. I think that the first role of council is the gatekeeper of the finances. That's what Owens told the audience at a recent candidates forum. He said protecting their tax dollars is at the heart of his run for mayor, but if watching how city money is spent is important to him, why has Owens used his credit card as he has? Records the Action News investigators have obtained show since 2008, Owens made many purchases that sources inside City Hall question. They include a $60 membership to the National Rifle Association, a $25 tab at the Stardust Lounge, and $74 at Kroger. City Hall sources tell Action News that city-issued credit cards are not for personal use. The investigators contacted Owens repeatedly about the credit card charges and his driving record, but he would not return our calls. We caught up with him outside of the courthouse where he was charged with the two felonies last May, but he told us then he would do an interview later. Though council members are paid for mileage, records show that Owens also used his city credit card to buy gas, spending $36 at BP and $49 at Marathon. Him and I have a big difference about how that money should be spent. That's Councilman Mike Canty, who is not running for mayor, but is critical of some of Owens' spending. We need to be the ones who are showing the most fiscal responsibility. Tomorrow morning, Owens will be arraigned in Wayne County Circuit Court on the felony charges, and we'll be there and tell you exactly what happens. In the newsroom, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.